this video, we're going to look at how to do left hand chords for accompaniment on the keyboard. So we're just going to start the key of C, and you probably want to get your uh, magic cheat sheet out, do a little bit of review on that. Uh, so first, just as a reminder, if you're in the key of C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, slash 1. And remember, your one chord is a C major. Your two chord, D minor, three chord, E minor, four chord, F major, five chord, G major, six chord, A minor, seven chord, B diminished, and back to one with the octave, which is a C chord. Now in this uh, video, we're gonna just focus on chords one, four, and five. C, F, and G, C that is. Now on the uh, five chord quite often what we do is we make it what we call a five seven chord we have the seventh so it's actually a four note chord so here's G B D our triad that we're accustomed to is our five chord but now we're going to add one more note so remember it's every other note is stacking thirds and they're all white keys so we're in the key of C so we have G B D and F, and F is what we call the dominant seven. Now, a lot of times uh, what we do in this chord is we leave the fifth out, root, third, fifth, seventh. A lot of times we'll leave that note out because it's not really necessary. And a lot of times the music will sound a lot more clear if we leave it out. So that's what we're gonna do today. So if you're gonna do like some uh, old, rock and roll you know songs like twist and shout or louie louie that kind of rock and roll you're going to move your chords like this or even uh the song la bamba does that there's thousands of songs that do that but outside of that narrow genre of happy rock and roll tunes, uh, a lot of times um, you want to invert your chords. When you do this, you have what's called parallel fifths, and that's not desirable in all genres of music. So let's look at how we can invert these. Here's our one chord, C, E, G. So our four chord is F, A, C. But what if we take this C and just put it down here? Now let's compare it to our C chord that we had before. Ah, so now we can invert our F chord, F A C, and get a really good sound, get away from the parallel fists, but also it's a very easy hand movement. So let's look at what we're doing. For F A C, we still have our C, so the pinky stays, and our third and our fifth change. So what we have here is C, E, G. So what we're going to do is this one's going to go up a half step. So we're going to switch fingers to here, and this one's going to go up a whole step. So for our one chord, the middle finger comes up a half step, and the thumb comes up a whole step. That's our four chord, F, A, C. So C, E, G. F, A, C, one chord, four chord, one chord. Now let's look at our five, seven chord. So our five chord is G, B, D, and an F for our dominant seven, and we can leave the D out if we want. So check this out. For our one chord, we already have a G, so we can leave that. These two fingers are going to change. So what we're going to do is this is going to come up a half step again to an F. That's our dominant seven. And this one's going to come down a half step to our B. And we're going to leave our fifth, the D, out. So here's your one chord, your C chord, C, E, G. You're going to leave the G. And then these two are going to do the splits. They're going to go opposite directions, a half step each. So there's that, and there's that. It's your five, seven chord without the fifth in it. So we have G, B, leave out the D, and an F. So now here's your old progression. C chord, F chord.
chord inverted. And then here's your G7 chord back to C. So from your one chord, if you want to go to four, this one goes up a half, this one goes up a whole. From your one chord, if you want to go to a five seven, this one goes up a half, this one goes down a half. Or if you want to go to your five seven and from your four, then basically this one goes down a half and this one goes down a whole. So here's one, four, this goes down all this, go down a half, to five. This will stay back to one. One, four, five, one. Now let's go one, four, one, five, one. One, four, one, five, one. Now let's go one, four, five, one. Let's transpose to the key of G. G B D. So our in the key of G, one, two, three, four. Our key, our uh, four chord will be G A B C. We'll check it out. Before what we did was we went up a half step here and a whole step here. Check it out. C E G. There's our C chord. G chord is one. C chord is four. And then remember, for a five chord, we left this. And these two did the splits by a half step. So a half step up, half step down. And there it is. Remember, key of G has an F sharp in it. That's why we're going to a black key. F sharp. We're leaving the A out. C, E. So there's a G chord. It's one. C chord. It's four. And D7. D, F sharp, leave out the A, and C for the 7, to 5 chord, and back to 1.